Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today I'm going to work on an Abu 6601 C4 Ambassador. This reel was made in Sweden. We're going to do a Why Do Reels Fail video on this one because quite honestly, these don't fail much. And uh, this one was sent in. Uh, it came in from uh, Steve. And boy, it, uh, it's got all indications that nothing is working on this. The, the free spool release is not working. The uh, the reel is a left-handed reel. You got a kind of a grind when it turns. So something is wrong probably inside the case. And I thought we'd just kind of take a moment to look at the reasons why fishing reels fail. This one is a, a sturdy reel. I don't uh, I see a lot of issues with ambassadors, but most of the time those issues are about worn parts and overuse. As I look at this reel, it doesn't appear as though there's any abuse going on with this one. It's a relatively clean reel, and uh, certainly if you look at this side, it doesn't even look like it's been salt water fished. Uh, so it's kind of curious to me, and I thought, well, we could all benefit from that. Left-handed reels generally have the pieces put on uh, opposite the right-handed reel. I have a brother who's left hand. I'll get in trouble if I say putting on backwards, but uh, you know what I mean. It, so. When it goes time to take the handle nut cap off, well, it comes off in a clockwise rather than a counterclockwise manner. Same with the, uh, the little uh, star adjuster that's in here. That'll also uh, wind uh, opposite, if you will, the other reels. I'm just trying to get this little C-clip off here that holds the gear post. You have to be real careful with these C-clips. They hold the gear post, and well, if you're not paying attention, those things will shoot. And um, if they shoot, well, you're in trouble because they're hard to find, uh, both uh, on your desk as well as uh, finding a replacement. What I like to do is I like to put all those pieces into a parts tray. I use the bottom of a fast food container, and uh, anything will do, but just make sure that you're organized so that you know where those parts are and when it comes time to uh, take those parts and put them back on the reel, well, you know where they are. Well, as I kind of mentioned, this is going backwards, so tighten would be to go forward here, so you want to take this in a, in a clockwise manner. And while I'm removing these pieces, uh, I'd like to just uh, suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like the Art of Fishing Reel Repair, if you like to see how fishing reels get taken apart and serviced if you like to have an idea of how the fishing reels work. Well, that's kind of all those things that I cover in my channel. Let's take a look at this. Well, that's certainly spinning free. And when I see something like this, one of the things that kind of jumps out at me almost immediately is that we have this set up right, particularly when this uh, free spool was locked down. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a look here. If you come underneath here, when you line up your your uh, pieces, there's going to be this part right here. And this part is the trip lever for the free spool. And when I go to reinstall, I like to push the trip lever down. Well, that only works if you pull the free spool up. So let's just see if maybe, just maybe, this wasn't loaded on properly to start. Let's put this back together. And we'll see what we got. I wanted to do that because I want to go into free spool to test the spool to see if that's the problem with the reel. Just don't jump to a conclusion, start pulling pieces and parts and the like. Let's see if the spool spins. Now that spool is tight, but so is the spool adjuster. Well, it's, it's moving, and I don't hear the grind when it's moving. So is the worm gear. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back. I probably should have left this on and done that first, but let's go put this back on. See how it spins. See if we can trip that free spool, and see if we've solved that problem. When do you go to put these free spool star adjusters on? or the drag war drag star adjusters. 
make sure that you take your time and that as you're doing that the piece is going on free and easy if this piece is not going on free and easy stop you're probably cross threading that uh, main shaft and if you cross thread the main shaft well you're going to have a problem all right let's just give it a twirl here see if this clips up well it does but it's not coming back all the way so i think there's definitely a problem inside but we've eliminated the left side of the reel by doing that we know it's in the case and now's a good time to open up the case and see what's going on in there it's a process of elimination when you do your problem determination and you always want to make sure that uh, you're uh, working on that well, I still got, got a couple of brakes here that are out that look like they were pressed in. There's a series of brakes on here. Probably should do this testing without the line interfering. So I'm just going to wrap that line, grab a rubber band, and tie that off so that doesn't get trapped. And most of the time, these brakes uh, should clip in and not get in the way. Sometimes these get loaded in and they get stuck. It's, well, we know it's not in the spool. That's another test there. Let's go ahead and put this back in then. I didn't notice if this was on or not. All right. Let's try this one more time just to see what's going on. Pull up. Funny how that works, right? When you go to see what you're trying to do, the spool falls out. So let's try and hold the spool while I see what I'm doing. I'm looking for that little hole there for the, the piece. Tighten this down, see if that made the spool work any better. Well, the spool is definitely spinning easier now. Go ahead and put this back on. It may just be that the brake got trapped in the race and everybody, you know, I, I tell a lot of folks just check that first. It's one of those common issues when you go to reinstall that uh, sometimes causes that. Let's see how we do here. Well, we're certainly moving a lot easier. I can turn it by my hand now. There's still a little bit of a grind going on in there. I don't know if something got injured when the, uh, the reel was like that. Let's turn this down, go to free spool. Uh, it's turning easy enough and we're back here running this so so without doing too much i think the issue really has been that that break on the spool there was the cause of the bigger issue i think we may have trapped that uh, free spool release too but uh, i think this one break here probably got trapped there's evidence and, and it wasn't just a kind of a crazy guess there's evidence if you look at the tips but like this one right here, that it's been running. What is that race I'm talking about? It's this circle here. Those brakes ride inside the circle. And sometimes if it's extended out too far, it's trapped by this piece here. And uh, well, it just makes it real difficult to turn. Well, let's just do a visual inspection inside, and then we'll kind of categorize this as what did we learn. And I'll go back uh, servicing the rest of this reel uh, for Steve. And uh, we'll have to take a look at those gears and see if they weren't particularly damaged by this. But uh, I'm not going to do full service. I've done a lot of services on these reels. And you can check them in my video library. So to get it to the inside of the case, we're going to remove these two screws. And most of the setups on these ABUs are following about three different or four different uh, internal setups, depending on the age of the reel. This, I believe, is going to be one of the more modern ones. Probably should have taken those little washers off first. Yeah, so there's nothing in here. If you look at it, I, I mean, I say it kind of half jokingly, but there's really not much in here. This is a very simple uh, design. 
So what I'm going to check next is I'm going to check is there scarring on the main gear. Well, I'm not seeing scarring on the main gear. This whole post will come out. And then we want to just check the pinion gear here, see if there's scarring on that that could be contributing to it. Well, there is. So we're going to have to get a replacement gear. So what am I seeing here? And I don't know if you can see it enough here. Come on, where are you? It's got a flat spot on it. I just, here you go. Right here we have a flat spot on that. It's just, I always tell you, check the gears to make sure that they are even and uh, properly aligned. Well, we've got three flat spots in a row. And I know it's really difficult to see on the camera, but this one right here on the tip, this one on the tip, this one on the tip, and it rides up here. So I think what happened, and this is pure conjecture, is that this reel got the, the brake trapped in the spool and the case. He took the opportunity to try and power out of it. That scarred the brake, but in powering out of it, brass just is not that durable a piece and uh, well it pushed some of these teeth off to the side and that's what's causing the, uh, the rough uh, operation of this. So we're going to go get a replacement gear and uh, hopefully we're going to solve that problem. The rest of this stuff looks fine. It uh, looks like a relatively new and unabused reel as I mentioned uh, earlier and uh, that's how you do it. So it's process of elimination. It's uh, understanding how the reel works. It's a little bit about uh, just going with some of your gut feel and sometimes just eliminating possible causes is almost as uh, beneficial as trying to figure out the ones that uh, uh, you can narrow it down to. So I hope you've enjoyed that little tutorial on how to go about troubleshooting a reel. This one will get back fishing again, there's no question about that. It's just a matter of going to get that replacement gear, bringing that back, uh, installing it and uh, moving on. So. To uh, all of our first responders and essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you've been doing to keep us safe. To everybody, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.